Hi there, it's Tara West at Little Minds at Work, and I'm going to take you through the Guide to Phonics and Beyond Digital Bundle Unit 2 Digital Teaching Slides. That was a big mouthful. Um, there are actually two days per slide deck for this one, so I'm going to break this video up so that you can see day one and day two. Also keep in mind that this particular slide deck is for lesson two. Um, once we get into much further lessons, especially lessons four and beyond, I can get a lot more learning involved because there's a lot more to spiral. There's not as much to spiral here. So I'll try to remind you that as I go through the deck so that you can see, oh hey, there will be more opportunities as the lessons go on. So let's get started. I'm um, here on the front, this is again lesson two, and in lesson in unit one, I had Pip on every single slide deck, but I'm actually gonna change this character to match to the decodable. So it happens to be Sam is in unit, or lesson one and lesson two. So this is Sam, and this is the focus sound for this particular lesson, which is the letter T, and this is just to remind you and the students, did not mean to do that, um, that we're going to be working with the sound, so to remind you to build in that sound, that T. All right, this is the main table of contents for this particular unit. We see have the phonemic awareness, the warm up activities, the sound introduction, word mapping application, blending application, and decoding application. This also changes slightly for to day two, so I'll show you that in just a moment when we get to day two. Now, you probably can't and don't want to do all of the slide deck in one setting. The reason I have it split up like this is to kind of even remind you like, oh, hey, during morning meeting, let's do phonemic awareness and warm up. If you want to do all of it in one setting, you'll probably just need to limit the number of slides that you're doing. And you can do that because again, I have it in an editable PowerPoint and Google Slides. Not edit editable, but you can delete the slides that you don't need. So let's go into the phonemic awareness section. And right up here, I'm sorry about that, I, new board, still getting used to it. There we go, sorry about that. I will say a set of sounds, you will repeat the sounds back to me. And down here at the bottom of the screen, there's a little teacher with a clipboard and that will give you the prompts. So whatever prompts you're using, that's going to be right here down at the bottom of the screen. These are visual cues, so for this particular one, they're going to listen and then repeat back. This will change as the phonemic awareness changes throughout the unit. It then will go into our warm-up activities. This particular one, I don't have a set script that you need to use for your chant. You're gonna make that fit for your needs. Maybe it is a, a, a apple, maybe it's a, a, apple, and you don't say the letter name at all. You can approach the chants as you please. Continuing into the warm-up activities, this one, they're going, you're going to fl flashing through previously taught sounds. Now, again, this is in lesson two, so we don't have a lot to work with here. Um, but this is just to remind you to encourage them to do both the sound and, there we go, I got that off, the sound and the letter name. So, A, A. And they would continue to click through. M, M. And this is just another little quick fun review to go through the previously learned letter sounds and names. You can again address this for sounds and names. So, ah, mm, 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 ah, mm. And letter name, A, M, S, S, M, S, A, M. And then again, this is going to have more sounds as the units progress, as the units progress, and you're going to have um, more sounds obviously in there too. Now we're working with still in warm-up activities, going through previously taught high-frequency words. So they're just saying the high-frequency word. They're going to click through all of those. Again, not a lot to review there as this is pretty early in the unit. Um, now we're on to the focus sounds. We're in sound introduction. What is this picture of? Turtle. What's the first sound we hear in turtle? T. Say that sound with me. T. We spell that sound with the letter T. We're also working with the mouth formation. Everything is embedded in the slide. This is what the teacher is saying. And these are follow-up questions that you're going to ask because you don't have to have your lesson plan there with you. You can just grab straight from the slide. I'm now going into word mapping application. Our word is at. Say it, at. How many sounds do you hear? Tap it, at. What's the first sound we hear? At. What's the next sound we hear? 
And now we're going to go into that say it, tap it, map it, write it. Say it, at, tap it, at, map it, at, write it, at. You saw I just clicked through there. Um, now we're going to the second word for this particular lesson, and that is the word the. That we know is a heart word, so this one's going to be set up completely different. How many sounds do we hear? The. Two sounds. The first sound we just tell them is spelled with TH, and the second sound is a, uh, and that is spelled with an E. It's a completely irregular word. They do have to memorize this word. And you can see that Sam is now wearing a heart to remind them that it is a heart word. And, oop, that did not need to be big like that. Oh, no. Okay, we might go to the computer to click to fix this for you in just a second. Say it, the, tap it, map it, write it, and then you can see the heart words are embedded right there on the screen. Now we're working in, we're still in word mapping, but now we went to skill-based words. So our word is mat, say it, mat, tap it, m, mm, at. What's the first sound? M, mm, at. And then it looks really similar to what they were doing with the high frequency words. They're saying it, tapping it, mapping it, writing it. Obviously at the carpet, they can have some type of manipulative. If you want to have passed out, they have their map it board. You can choose how you want to do that, or this can be done completely on the I do, we do, with no you do. Um, this is working with blending the words, so you can see they have their dots, our color dots that we've been using consistently in the units. Beginning sound, middle, end, and then reminding them to blend through it. At. And then I have a lot of different blending drills within the program. And we'll see more of those pop up in day two. You probably recognize this. This is our blending strip. Again, instead of everyone having to have one, you could have one up here at the front that you're tapping. And I have the words embedded right up here for you. Again, not a lot of words at this point. This is only lesson two. Sat, at, mat, m, mm, at. And you're tapping through that to help them with their blending. And then I do have a little bit of that vocabulary component that's um, brought over for, similar to unit one. But this one, they work with a CBC word. The word is obviously mat. A mat is a small piece of material. Search and find all the mats. So they could use their pens if my pen works with me today. And they can go through and find all of the mats on the page. And then the final page for this particular day one, they're just doing a little decoding. So they're working with single sounds, high frequency words, and then decodable sentences. So t, s, at, the, and then blending through, I sat, a map. Again, very, very basic at this point and only lesson two. All right, let's take a look at day two. Again, it's gonna be very similar, just a little bit of difference. And the reason why I've given you two days is because guided phonics is set up for two days. You might not need the second slide deck at all, but I didn't want you to go without. So we're gonna bust through this. The phonemic awareness is going to be set up very similar the alphabet chart, reviewing those letters and sounds. Again, still working with a new board here. I'm a little bit slow at that. We also have those high frequency words that are going to pop up for review. This is all in that warm up activities section. And the idea of that is just you don't have to have your flashcards out. If you want to do your flashcards, you could avoid it here on the slides. This is a new part on day two, and that's the handwriting extension, working with that sound that they're focusing on, which is the letter T, but I've also embedded in the handwriting because it's so important. A lot of times in the younger grades, we do a really good job of going through the handwriting when we introduce the alphabet, and then we kind of let it slip. So we don't want to do that. So I've embedded it right here in the slide for you. I'm still working with word mapping. It's just going to be different words, so all of that stays really consistent for you. Sam is still going to wear his heart word badge, working with skill-based words. So in my program, I always do high frequency word mapping and skill-based mapping, so you have that consistent. This is something new on day two, and that's gonna be working with the rhymes. If you know in my program, I have the rhymes display, aka word families. And so we'll be working on that, having that embedded in the slides. Again, this will look a lot different once I have more and more rhymes. There'll be more for you to review. Um, this is that continuous blending, which a lot of you love. Again, more and more opportunities for this as I get more sounds. S, s, a, sa, s, a, t, sat. And then again, still blending. Blending strip is there again. Decoding is still there. 
And then I believe that's the end of this one. So again, you can kind of see the consistency through day one, day two. You might not need both slide decks, but if you do, there's no reason to go without. It's easy enough for me to add for you. So again, in units two through six, you'll have two days of slide decks. Just keep in mind that unit two is really designed still for getting started. Units three through six are going to be similar, but they're gonna be at a much more rigorous 